Hello and welcome to the K5 Championship race number four. We are here at Homestead. And of course, it's the ARCA car. Uh, that is our car all season. We have a fun race ahead, I hope. I love Homestead and I love the ARCA car and I love this combo. So we are... Head oh, is this... That doesn't look right. Does it? Yes, five minutes on to the, Is that right? Is this... Okay, no, it's we're good. Okay, I was paranoid. I thought we were going to get <laughs> group qualifying again. And for some reason, I was like, wait a minute, something doesn't look right. Okay, no, we're good. Regular qualifying this time. Everything sorted out. I know Nick said he went through and uh, triple-checked. All the settings were right for the rest of the season. And it looks like he did a good job of that. Uh, I got PTSD from that. <laughs> but uh, we're going to come out here and do hopefully a good lap. I'm feeling pretty good about being able to get a good lap around here. Um, hopefully I just don't get overconfident because... Well, that's not going to be good either. Because that's how you hit the wall. And then DMQ. So, first lap here. I'm going to push a little less hard. Oh my god, I said that and then I almost got on the wall. Wow, okay. I gotta be really careful. Uh, I just, I you can't throw laps away. It's not gonna help anything. Wow, why does the track feel so much tighter? Well, maybe it's in my head. Alright, well, session optimal. Try to get it better here. Maybe it's all in my head, but it feels like the track's a lot tighter. I'm sure I'm making it all up. Thankfully, second lap here got a little bit better. 34-107, I'll take it. Could have been a lot better, though. Only seventh. I was feeling a little bit overconfident, I guess. <laughs> After uh, practice, I got fourth best time there. I underdrove it, I think. Just being a little bit scared. But that's okay. I think we should be able to make the show with that time. Hmm. I wonder why the car felt tight to me. Did I forget to set anything? No. Brake bias should be right and everything. Probably, like I said, just uh, feeling a little bit extra nervous. You can like get the, get on the throttle a little, little bit to get it turning. That's probably where I was lacking. I probably could have been on the throttle a little bit more, a little bit more aggressive, and got this thing sideways. But uh, not terrible though. And I want to make it seem like I did poorly. Uh, eighth is perfectly fine with me. We got a 133 lap event here today. And I'm hoping it'll be a nice clean race and we can even do some green flag pit stops. Now for the actual race to save the tires, you are going to want to run the bottom line, presumably. Seems to usually be the way it goes here. Run that low line for long, long pace. And I'm going to practice that green flag pit stop here. As well, right as whenever the grass kind of turns in right there, that's when I'm kind of turning down. And then, watch your speed. 50's kind of slow. You got to slow down pretty good here, but looks like uh, that'll do. I've been able to hit that pretty consistently, so feeling pretty good about that pit as well. Pin. I'm stealing someone else's pit box. <laughs> as we hop out, uh, where is everybody? Uh, why is it? I just noticed my race lab's not up for some reason. I guess I will be fixing that. Mm -hmm. Excuse my messy desktop. A little behind the scenes here. Normally you wouldn't get all this. Because <laughs> normally... I do... I've been recording just my... eye racing, but... 
Way too much thought. That's the end of the session. He ate. Where's Mitch? Oh my god, Mitch didn't make it. Whoa. That blows my mind. That's crazy. Okay, Mitch didn't make it. We got a couple other guys that are pretty fast that didn't make it too. Oh, Martin Roberg, he's pretty good. He's 3,000 I rating. Dan, you made it, Justin made it. I got you, buddy. Good luck. Thank you, Rick. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not making the show. Yeah, everyone sees it. I, that, that's crazy. I don't want to say anything else. But, uh, he said he used, this too much, he used too much throttle. Hmm. That'll shake up the points for sure. Got the 27 in the last spot here. Where's the uh, race going? TLCM is working. I don't know what that stands for. Triple something monitors? I don't know. Spencer didn't make it. He's usually pretty quick too. Hmm. But we have Justin and Ed. Daniel made the show. Lots of familiar faces. Nick qualifies 15th. Gavin 12th. Seven. The air temp is 84 Fahrenheit. A lot of familiar guys around me here. We got Wallace and Shane. Lowercase Ryan up there in fifth. And I don't know if Jack has shown up to uh, any of the previous races, but he's crazy fast. He had the fastest practice time, and he gets the pole here. So he's going to be one to beat here today. A couple names I don't remember as much, but... They are quite fast, that's for sure. A couple names I do recognize, of course. We've got Ryan Carwile, as well. Alex was in the last race, too. Yeah, just uh, kind of checking it all out, see who's here. And we'll see uh, what this little heat race looks like. Only three laps, out of necessity, as usual. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got a second one. Sorry. <laughs> Had to wait for that to transpire. Um, all right. So, tire saving going to be a big thing here. <laughs> Mitch taking it three wide. <laughs> Not really. Just looking down there, but he's probably just having fun in the heat race. Man, I wonder if he got sideways or something, or um, exactly what his lap looked like. I also have a nice drink with me here today for the long event. That's always nice to have. Pretty hot in here. Been leaving the windows and doors open because it's been a little cooler outside, kind of getting that autumn weather. But it's a little hotter out today, so kind of heating up a little bit here. But we're being uh, stubborn and leaving them open. Guess we're getting kind of outside noise as well. If that gets too loud, I might have to adjust that. But. We got Mitch looking on the high side. He's up in the wall. That might be why he didn't make it. <laughs> that, that really stinks. Consistency is going to be key for me in the season standings. That means making every race I can. 
and trying to get solid finishes. 14th at Phoenix is my worst finish so far. So I've gone 7th, 14th, 1st, and that brings us to here today at Homestead. Long season, but if I can keep it in the top 14, whoa, as the 13 gets sideways, um, should be a pretty good time. Nice little finish there. Side by side, as Jeff gets the heat win. Checker flags out, 8th place. Uh, shout out to Robert as well. He didn't make it, but I did do a race, an official race, earlier today, and he was in it. And we uh, chatted a little bit before that one, so. Make sure that's not muted. Everyone's being pretty quiet. <laughs> Don't be smart. So we got the warm up going on. We'll see if the track has changed at all in any noticeable way. Hundred a hundred on the tires. <laughs> wow, what tire saving? All clear. Push now. <laughs> That's some uh, Lewandowski level tire saving. Finishing the race at a hundred a hundred. <laughs> so, won't have much time to do. All that much out here, but like I said, see how much grip we got in the corners. I assume it's later in the day now. As we approach the actual feature race. I don't know why I'm running the high side. I should be practicing the uh, race line at this point, because qualifying's over. Pit in here. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Went in a little harder because I had people behind me and I didn't want to uh, cause a crash or anything. But it worked out. Okay, warm so up, good to know. Bring it on Do in. that. Five. That's the end of the session. P8. P8, we will be on the outside. Alright. Make sure all our settings are looking good. 100, 100. These are what I'm going with here. 12 to 1, negative 15, and 60% on the brake bias. Which, I'm going to go ahead and put back here because why not? Just get as much turn as possible, I guess. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Easy to get some self spins early in one of these races on the cold tires with how loose it can be. So, I've got to keep my eyes open. Watch out for guys Hello, around man. me. Have session last lap up. Hello. Phil says 58.6 laps. Have a good ride. I don't think we can make it halfway. 100 minutes, P8. Halfway would be a stretch. So, I guess we would have to two-stop this thing. Car number 28, in the inside column. I wish my fuel calculator worked right in these races, but it never seems to. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Pit road is closed right now. I'm going to use my calculator here real quick on my phone. Never text and drive, kids. <laughs> but I am going to You're do a form of that at the moment. So I divide 133 by 3. And we get roughly 44 laps might be when we come into pit if this thing goes green. No idea if it will, but that's good information to know. Should be doing that before we're <laughs> pace lapping, but I didn't quite think about it. For some reason, I was thinking we'd be able to make it halfway, and I can divide by two better, and I can divide by three on the fly. 
Looking for jump here. Okay, carry off. Green flag, green flag. On green. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there inside. You're up top, three wide. Hold your line. Right side, two wide. Right uh, on the back. I crashed. Interesting. Not, not bring out a caution? How did that not bring out a caution? I swear there was a huge wreck. Was it not a huge wreck? I guess maybe they saved it. What happened? No idea. I hope no. I hope not too many people were caught up in that. Why are we going three wide for last place? We got three wide for last place, apparently. Hmm. Interesting start here. I'm trying to go pretty easy early on, but at the same time, trying to keep it on the right rear if I can. My official race I did earlier today, I finished the race, I believe it was like 76, 73 were the tires. So I was actually on my right rear more than I was on my right front. Which is good. It's what I want. So we'll try to continue that trend here. Especially since this is a longer race. I'm going to try to be nice to the tires. Did that one first corner on the high side, just because I had no choice. But I'm going to try my best to keep it down here for the rest of the time. That was a 34.3. Good luck. That's your best in the session. Kind of just hanging out in this top five here. Shane's catching up behind. He's got some crazy speed, it looks like. No idea how hard he's pushing, but if he's keeping it on the right rear, he's looking pretty darn good. If he's got long-term pace as well. A big part of this is being able to balance the car. In my head, I imagine the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games on the <laughs> on like the PS1 where you balance while doing a grind on a rail. <laughs> That's what I imagine going through these corners when you're trying to balance the wheel. And if you fall, you hit the ground. <laughs> Might have to get around the 75 here. Looks like he's a little slower through the corners. And I'm trying to keep gassed up so that way I'm on the right rear. So I can't afford to really underdrive it too much. So that'll put it on the right front, I believe. But we got a long a long way to go. So I'm also not gonna force anything. I'm not gonna take the high line. Because that kills the tires real quick. So I'll be patient. It looks like uh Maybe just had one or two slower corners, and now I'm going slower. <laughs> Your lap time was 34.5. Just gotta remember to pace myself. We'll see uh, if any of the guys ahead fall off at all. A little bit too loose there. It's okay. Try to be a little smoother than that. Oh, I, take it, Gavin. I can't believe that first slide we saw behind us wasn't a huge wreck. 
Because that was the guy that was on my inside. I guess he, uh, he got loose. And I... The where he was sliding, I thought he was going to be right in front of the entire field. I thought that was going to be a disaster, but it didn't even bring out a caution, so I guess they got below the apron. And, uh, tracks clear tower, I guess. It's in a little bit of touch here. Oh, we got someone on the wall on the straightaway. They lost too much time, though. Car is a little less loose than official this week. Which tells me that maybe I uh, want to be a little bit easier on the throttle than I was for those races. So not to overdrive mid-corner. And then when I really want to start gassing up more, it's near the exit about three-fourths of the way through the corner in order to uh, get the car on edge. These are looking good, though. No cautions yet. Again, I hope that wasn't too big of a deal what happened early on, and I hope I gave enough room. It's hard to say exactly what happened right now. I mean, I felt like I was good on the high side there. Shane's back there still. Point three behind. Gonna have a good run as well. Gonna be really uh, important to keep uh, take care of this car though. Try to avoid any of the wall hits that can damage the thing. It's, uh, be in this car for a while, so obviously you want it to be in peak condition. I could probably be a little bit more aggressive right now, being a little bit of a chicken. <laughs> It's interesting here because you can push a little harder as long as you're on the right rear and still save tire. It's just pretty scary is all. Gavin is in seventh. I'm not sure. I think he might have just grabbed that for the first time. I don't think he was there before. So he's looking good as well. Falling off of the group ahead a little bit, and that's concerning me. Must be something I'm not doing right. Draft is not very big at all in the ARC car, so I'm not too concerned about that fact. Draft does barely anything for whatever reason in this car. Your last lap time was at 34.9. too loose there. Might have to let Shane go at some point, that's okay. If he's doing better than me, then I don't want to fight for the spot. Not the time or place for it. You've just done a 35 oh, we got someone a little bit higher up the track. Maybe we have a pass for the lead going on. I'm really staring at this white line, so I can only peek at what's happening ahead. They're fighting pretty hard for that lead spot, though. I wouldn't even be bothering, even if it were the lead. So right now, if you fight for the lead for too long, well, you might end up side-by-side -side with that guy, but you're going to end up side-by-side -side with him in sixth place by the end of the race, because you tore your tires off and other people didn't. 
maybe sixth is generous. Just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like battling for the spot right now is not going to help either driver. Man, they are driving away. That's concerning me. They might just be better at uh, doing the counter steer and being aggressive on the throttle on exit and all that. Doing my best to be smooth. You've just done a thirty five point two. That still feels pretty good. If I could use that seam a little bit more. I remember doing this combo in the past. Specifically, that seam is somewhere where you wanted to be. Maybe we're at this track temp and stuff. Maybe that's uh, back to where we want. Maybe I can run the seam a little bit more. Try that for a couple laps, see how I feel about it. That was a little bit of a solo corner, but it's kind of figuring out driving a little bit differently. We'll give it a fair shot. I don't know, I'm so used to driving on the bottom at this point. Couple of bad corners, I need to just stay consistent, I think. I think trying to do different things is just hurting me. So about lap 44 is what I found out, fighting the race by three. Still wouldn't make it to halfway, so that would be the plan. Maybe these guys ahead will fall off. That's not looking like it. Looks like I'm falling off. If anybody. Could be I'm overdriving it. I'm used to doing uh, the short Arca races. Not these ones that last so long, so. Maybe I am. Uh, Overdriving it, thinking that I need to be driving it as if it's a regular archer race. Could be something I need to think about. Hands on our bumper, pretty much. Just point two behind. Point four to lowercase Ryan back there. He's catching up a bit. Yeah, that's tough. That lead four, they're they're zooming. They're real good. The class of the field here, it looks like I am flunking out of that class at the moment. <laughs> maybe not flunking, maybe I got like a D plus. Like, I'm kind of there, but kind of on the outside looking in. Not quite passing, but. Admirable effort, I guess.
Got a little bit of distance back from the machine behind us for now. They are doing too wide up ahead. Doesn't even seem to matter though. It seems like they can do what they want and they're still faster than I am. I think I'm migrating up the track too much. I might need to drive in a little lower. Maybe not. That was okay. Do we anticipate green flag running I'm in on say lap 44 that's a good question be three laps oh wow that actually would be kinda close to be able to make it though to halfway that makes me ask some questions Or it's starting to get tighter. So maybe I'm not doing such a good job. You're going pretty bad, man. Yeah, four. Moody's blinking again. Ah, uh, it's better, it's better now. I'm losing speed. I think, uh, I have not done good to my tires. I thought I was okay. Not so much. Shane back there is doing great. I want to say I watched uh, his race with Nick. I think he was in that ARCA time slot. I think he just bought this track, so he is doing a fantastic job, if that is what I'm remembering correctly. He is either way, but especially if he's brand new to this track. He's killing it right now. Twenty six, my fine. I'm not blinking or anything. No, no, you're good. You're good now. You're good. Okay, keep me updated. It's consistent. Okay, Colton. Half your fuel. So that doesn't cause any issues back there. Uh, you literally didn't run higher than you just did that one lap, though. So. Okay, I get better now, I guess. Hmm. A little bit loose there. Oh, did someone drag the wall in the tree? I think we had the 75 do that. I'm getting tighter center than I would like. Man, they are disappearing into the distance. That's disappointing. might need to adjust my braking point because I feel like I'm just overdriving entry now do we come in lap 45 or so I don't know. That's a good question. This is looking pretty green to me. Oh, Shane on my oh, rear end really got my car loose. We'll make him run the high side this corner. But not gonna fight him. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Take a corner to 
get the tires figured out. Still there. And outside clear. There he is. Sixth place. It got on my rear end and it got really loose. It's fine. Gavin is around Ryan. I think they swapped spots a couple times. Okay, I'll go high. Well, if I'm going to be so bad on tires, maybe I do need to try to... do the strategy of doing it in thirds. See what the fuel's saying. In bit. Five. Six. I think we're getting closer to being able to make it halfway, though. You obviously don't want to two-stop it when you can one-stop it. Pretty sure fuel's not working. I'm like fuel calculator, so that's not really it. <laughs> useful information. Mm. That's really being a handful. I might need to just smooth my inputs a little bit. Not sure. Okay, that was better that lap. I think I need to uh, smoothen out my braking. A little less firm, but hold it a little longer. P6 keep it turning a little bit longer. That might help me here. Whoa! Shane really losing it on exit there. That'll cost him some time. Bring him back to us a little bit. Well, if we're gonna... Two... That's. We gotta try to make it halfway, I think. Or pretty close to it. That's way too close. 22, 62. We'll see what other guys do as well. If they pit, I'm definitely coming in, but. Very tricky situation. It's a very awkward in between type. Uh, Hit cycle. The gap in front is now 1.1. Hmm. The gap behind is now. It would still be pretty far off. I have to make up several laps. Fuel, if we were going to one-stop it. I don't know if that's possible. I think we're coming in lap 45. Well, what's our lap time fall off right now? So lap, we're in the 35s. All time best is in the 33. So that's a two second drop off. That's pretty significant. Hitting in. We do have guys pitting in. I don't want to have to announce it if I don't need to.
but obviously they will need to if uh, Gavin's close enough behind me. Coming in. The gap behind is now 0.7. Right front was at 32% and 281. The speed limit is 50 miles. Okay. Pretty aggressive on entry, but I think we're good. Speed box team in. idiot. Hopefully that's not too bad. No grip in the tires. 5960. Man, that wasn't even that bad. Unless I just burned both sides off, which I probably did. Go, go, go! Ryan, please, please give me a call. Alright, he gets it. He knows he made a mistake. I need to call him out anymore. I mean, maybe he doesn't. No, he made a mistake. <laughs> So we're gonna feel pretty darn fast it, a little bit. Lap 84, this time by. The car outside. Go low. Outside, clear. Okay. Still gotta take care of the tires. But we are gonna be pretty darn fast for a little bit. Part of uh, coming in early, one of the benefits is we are in lucky dog position, or we were for a little bit. Which can save us in certain circumstances. Shouldn't be too long before we can get back in the lead lap, though, if guys are pitting. Try to save tires a little bit more this run, if possible. I'm putting in, I'm putting in. Everybody making sure they're being good about to letting guys know they're pitting after last week's massive wreck. Definitely would have, although I felt like I had enough room in front of Gavin, so I felt like I was okay. Hey, we caught up to Shane. <laughs> Too bad it's a lap behind him. Outside. Inside on exit. High. P18, that was a 34.3. These guys are staying out longer. I wonder if they're going to try to single stop it. I just didn't feel like I was going to make it. I saw Nathan Scott say pitting it. I thought it was Nathan Dowd in front of me for a second, so that scared me. He's not going to give me the bottom. Okay, we'll just be gentle to the car up here. Or in the middle. For one corner. Looks like we gained some time on Gavin. That's good. He was about to come catch me. We gained about five seconds on him, maybe. Even with sliding past the box. 
but we had the undercut. And I felt like I uh, entered pretty well. Just, I had to go and get the. Uh, Mm. Oh, and that's it. I had to go and slide past the box, which really stunk, but... Ryan was in front of me. No longer the case. Oh, my white guys. Um, it's up to me to pass. Never mind. Never mind. It's up to me to be able to get around him. He doesn't need to get out of my way, obviously. Here's your current leader. We are in the lucky dog position. So I'm not too scared of a caution right now. I prefer it to stay green. I'm not too scared of it. I have to assume these guys are trying to one stop it. Going, at, staying out this long. It's good to know Nick also agreed to come in right around when I did. He's pretty good with strategies, so it boosts my confidence in my decision a little bit to know that he had similar idea. Forty-seven, give us a heads up on your pit. Where are you running, man? He's running lane 1.2. Costs me all kinds of time. Not a fan of that. Car outside. Clear high. I guess he's trying to straddle the seam. Okay. So maybe that is the way to do it. I mean, we're getting caught by Ryan now, which sucks. We probably already Got out, right? Speaking of this part, man. Yeah, you're fine. Be tempted. Think about God. Still there. Appreciate it, Gavin. Go low. Oh, weird situation here. Outside, he's clear. It's fine. We're good. You're in the top ten. Love that we got some green flag pit stops, though. I've been waiting for uh, a race like this. Always a lot of fun. See how strategies play out. Daniel up there. Keep low. Eighth place. Clear out, Josh. Did you want to? Take it, Gavin. Seven must have sped or something. It's lapped down. Thank you. The gap is yeah, far wide ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. That seam right there on the bottom is danger arrest. Yeah, it's a little bit sketchy through the center. Yeah, the one on five though ain't that bad. Okay, catching up to a guy, I assume. Yes, has not pit yet. Thank you, Race Lab. The gap behind increased to two point seven. Leader's five. finally pitting in. He cannot single stop it from there, so he stayed out a while. That's very interesting. Robert ahead, getting very sideways. 
kind of just saw it in my peripheral, but I saw some smoke. Never a good sign. Now he's in the wall. A little bit loose there. I'm trying to go easier this run since I was terrible on tires last time. Who knows if that's even going to do me any good, though. That was a bad idea. Did you get the wall? Well, again. Nah, I tried to coast in the corner with the clutch. I don't want to put my glove in the wall. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Lots of guys having trouble with the wall. Yeah, I'm not good when it comes to the saving fuel. I just can't do it. V6, So they are saving fuel. I think we need to do one more stop anyway. I don't know if I'm going to save that much. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I was uh, trying to figure out. Cause we had like 73 to go. I was wondering if we could save that long. Tough decision, but I love having to make it. These are fun types of races. I think by then you're one more tires anyways. Man, yeah, it seems like tires are more important than fuel, but I don't know. I'm happy with what I chose. Um, if someone can make it... Sorry about the shit team that I tired already. It's a single uh, stop. Be very interesting. And we got someone ahead of us that had not pit yet. So that'll bring us into the top five. Get back in pit. So it's looking like we gained during green flag pit stops. Again, despite me sliding through the box. I don't see any names behind me that are going to be approaching at light speed or anything. <laughs> We do have a couple of cars in front of me. I want to get around as soon as possible. Just because they're in a big wad, not because I don't trust them or anything. Mm -hmm. so hopefully it's a clean exchange. Outside. Still there. How many cars are on it's the far off the Still top bubble? Top up there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. The behind us now. 4.1. Clear outside. Okay. Tell me if I've hit That figured out. Wow, yeah, those two guys up front still had not pit. That's incredible. Position. That was 35.3. It's like 13 on the lead lap. It's very, very interesting. The lead is bidding now. Very curious to see how this plays out. But it's looking pretty good for us. Appreciate Robert being patient behind me. It looks like he might be a little bit faster. Good place. Love to hear it. Still trying to be a little smoother this run, not get all sideways and stuff. Robert's running the high line over there, behind us. Looks like fun. I prefer to be running the high line, but... Uh, darn tires, just won't allow it. Love running the high line. So we've got... Okay. Second place. So Ryan, who passed us earlier, is now your leader. And that is everybody who has not pit, I believe. At least everybody who was in front of us. So P2 is looking pretty good. Gavin kind of followed us, uh, making the jump. And I don't think our tires are too much older that it should be a problem. In the right. 
Car You're passing me, dude. Still there, hold your line. there he goes. Clear okay. Inside. Not why he even threatens to do that. But... It's alright. No harm done. He backs way off now. I hope that uh, going, trying to go easier here isn't actually just going to be worse for me and actually turn out not good. You've just done Arwild's just driving away. Let's see, Gavin is on three lap fresher tires behind us. He's been gaining a bit. Not to turn through the exit of the corner there. So we are uh, gonna look to come back in about lap 88 is the two-stop strategy. I don't think I've ever done a race where I've had to pit twice during green flag conditions. That will be an absolute first for me. Very cool. Love it. I hope we get the chance. Hope this stays green. We had people wondering if this was going to be Myrtle Beach 2.0. But, uh... Thankfully, the Ghostbusters did their job. And this is no longer haunted. We've got ourselves a green race. Clear skies, no fog. No ghosts. <laughs> Loving the position that I am in at the moment. Sorry, the noise outside. They're driving faster than I am right now, apparently. I don't know if you could hear that. It sounds like it's a car flying down the highway. They're pretending that they're at Homestead right now. Almost drifted into the wall on a straightaway, adjusting my glasses. <laughs> wow, glasses reveal. Everyone just found out I have glasses. <laughs> Except for my family, they already knew that. <laughs> I imagine probably have not forgotten, although it's been a minute since I've seen them. Should hey, hope I get the chance to visit them soon. It's a little loose. <laughs> Gavin's loose. Maybe lost some time. He's real good at keeping it on the right rear, so he's probably that's probably why he's having such a good run. <laughs> the late model races, you had like 96-32 on his right sides. It's really funny. To be fair, I did do a couple of those races. It's really easy to get on the right rear, and those races to a fault. It's very interesting. That was a very fun season zero. Don't. No problem. No problem. Car outside. Yeah, I fresh your tires on the outside. He just pit like 20 laps ago. We'll keep it low for him. Clear up top. It's Robert went by. It would appear. He saw that uh, this guy got by and he's like, I want to do that too. It's fine. I just prefer to be able to run the line I would like. That's all I ask. Oh, I'm a grump about it. 
car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Point. It's getting closer. The gap's come down to 1.0. Uh-oh. Your previous leader is approaching him. Wow, that happened in a flash. He is zooming right now, I think. Hey, Bob, Adam. So I'm not going to hold him off. That's not happening. He stayed out a long time. He'll be past us by the end of the next lap. Which is okay. He obviously earned it. He had a much better first run. Stayed out a little longer than maybe expected, but... Just keep it low here. Car outside. Keep low. That's Still there, hold your line. Clear. Hey. Right. Jack's after Ryan up there. You can take the bottom. Take the bottom. Got more people zooming up, it sounds like. Oh, that was Gavin letting a uh, lap car by. Pitting in. Got a pitting in. A little early for me. I, like I said, I'm probably coming in about lap 89, 88, 89, somewhere around there. Hard to say if I've done better on tires this time. It's a little more difficult to judge based on guys around me. Whoa! Blinking and sliding. That's a little scary. Gavin 2.2 behind. No. Pit road is closed right now. Oh, there goes our race. A green race. Mistakes. What a run that was. Looks like it was the 07 involved. Not sure if anyone else was, but. That was crazy fun. So, no two green flag stops in one race for the first time, but we got darn close. Can we even make it to the end? I'm not sure. Fuel, we'll have to take a look. Hey, that's all good, baby. Look out for the pit speed limit. <laughs> a little dramatic there. Didn't mean to do it quite like that. Stop again to get to the end. Pit box in. Ten. Five. Five. Let's not slide past the box this time. Two. One. Right here. Seventy three seventy three. It's not very useful information to share because everyone pit at the same time or different times. I guess that's good, but it didn't feel like I was doing very good on long term speed. I don't know, man. You only have one tire set remaining. Line up single file. So that's interesting. Gavin, you need a better picture there. I just need to be better about stopping my box. <laughs> yeah, I'm going through my box on that green flag stop, and then back up and I took all right, but added like 10 seconds. Yeah, I'll just miss my box there too, Gavin. Sounds like a lot of people are having troubles. I slid past my box on the green flag stop too. I slid past the hand was too far, so I got yelled at me. 
I don't know if that's what I did, but they did it before to come out in like 15 Carlisle, when did you pit that run? Okay, Colton, we're halfway home. Should be it's like uh, 48 or 49, I think. I honestly didn't even know about the fuel thing. I was going to try to split it down the middle, but then uh, the fuel just said it was like, wait, Yeah, yeah, I could have actually, actually made it and started saving right at the start, but, but uh, I, was I was like halfway, halfway through the first run and I was like, yeah, like, yeah I'm not going to start saving now. Yeah, and that's pretty much what yeah, I did. I was going to make it, and I didn't even really save until about halfway through that run, but I don't know, tires might have been worth more. Race labs are saying that you could have made it on 63 laps. Yeah, I'm kind of saving in mind on 64, so... 63 laps? How, though? That's such a stretch. I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, you think, like, a 63-lap run, and then yeah, another 63-lap right run now. is 126 laps. That leaves you... Yeah, just push it so hard when you're watching it. Seven laps short. So eight laps short. 50, 53, 56, line up on the inside. Catch up. 41. Catch up. 27 on the right side. 55. Nathan, where are you saving when you run behind me? I'm saving fuel just in case. I tried to drop it back, I did. But I should be able to make it on field. I'm going to pass you there because there's 15 laps. But I don't want to worry about it, and plus, unlimited green flag, or green white checkers, which I hope we don't need to use, but good to be ready for it. Yeah, I was trying to go as slow as I could while keeping the lead, but I had a race hard there. I want to make sure I have the lead. Hey, did a good job. P3, we'll see how we do. I kind of didn't need that, so there's going to be some guys that we gain time on that are kind of come past us again, I think. It's okay. Checking up for the rest of the field in turn three. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. Outside. Clear. All right. That's cool. I didn't want the lead anyway. Try to match what they're doing here. I want to know how these guys are saving better than I am. I'm just going to try to match their pace. Yeah, you're way quicker. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. I won't try to block you, though. I'm trying to test it. Wallace wants to go now, now, now.
I am not using my tires on that outside line. There's no reason for it. So I will just file in. That was a uh, serious loose moment. Broke loose on me. Right as uh, Wallace had a moment up there too, looked like. And another Ryan loose connection, that stinks. Hmm, I'm just not quite in the, at the same level as uh, the fastest guys here today. That's okay. Very happy with where I'm running. Good points day, right? That's what they say. Yeah, got ourselves a good points day. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> the last time was 't I just I can't quite drive it as hard on edge as the guys ahead I don't think I think I'm just not quite there trying I really am. It's a little bit loose. Your last lap time was at thirty-four point five. Huh. Reeled them back in just a little bit. Yeah, we'll come in the front row next. Four. Endings ahead. And way wider than I want to there. Almost let him on my inside. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need one right now. It'd be nice. No, we just had one. No. Man, I'm stinking right now. I'm gonna let this guy by. Car inside. Still there. Clear. I just, I can't overdrive myself, drive beyond my limits, and end up crashing myself or something. Gotta keep it under me. Well, to give right there. Sixth place. It's real close. We're close together.
interesting battle for their lead up here. It's going to be a very interesting finish if it keeps looking like this. Lots of guys close by. All wanting the chance to get the win. Never drove center there, that's bad. Got on the right front way too much. 46. Okay, we're good on fuel. Don't need to worry about that ever again. <laughs> Until our 13th green white checkered, I guess. Ah, oh, Lurkis Ryan's lurking back there. Don't love that. Because that's a spot I'm going to lose. I just, I'm having trouble keeping it consistent longer in these runs. Go ahead, I'm saving fuel. Saving fuel? Is that in question? Yeah, I have 18 laps left. How did that happen? Interesting. But you stayed out longer than me, huh? I did. I almost ran and drive. You think you're gonna make it? If I can save 2.8 gallons. Hmm. I'm a little bit racy ahead. P6. That lap was at 34.9. Hmm. Find myself wishing I could put my brake bias back further. I need to get as much turn as possible here. Ugh. I'm just stinking it right now. Hmm. We got to go. 30 laps to go now. Still quite a bit. Still quite a ways. Tried being a little bit more aggressive on throttle and it's kind of working for me for the moment. Great corner. Really focused right now. I know I'm not saying much. This is just a part of the race that's all about consistency and hitting the marks. Repetition. Much to add other than I wish I could execute a little bit better than I did in that corner. 
I'm putting in this lap, guys. Put in this lap. In. Terrible lap for me. Is someone on the low side up here? What's going on? Come on, don't take the strong line, man. Loose. Oh, my hands are hurting. I'm squeezing the wheel tight, trying to hold on to this thing. Nathan, I'm not gonna like race you guys enough and not a oh. thing behind you. Ten four. Gavin's behind me now. Uh, I didn't mess you up when I broke out, out, did I? You've just done a 35.3. Who, me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was like right in front of you. Not sure if it was me. Man, I'm sweating. This is uh, pretty intense. Hey, why are the lap cars there, there taking the bottom line? Right? Right. Well, 13 laps to go. Not that I know, but you know. Oh, come on, man. Alright, cool. Yeah, I was running like 7th, I think. My internet just decided to shut off for some reason. Still there. Okay. Still there. 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 Why is everybody on the bottom line? What are we doing? I guess... I guess they don't have much of a choice. I don't know. High line could be dangerous too. It is what it is. I gotta stop complaining. Sorry, can I need to block? No, that's all good. I'm just grumpy, because <laughs> this is intense. Twenty-five sitting in this lap. Yeah, fuel. Uh, one uh, lap, one lap, one lap, one lap. That was a one for. Alright, thanks, man. I don't know, man. I'm losing that front pack again. So I'm not, I don't have the skill. I don't have the skill to keep up with those guys. Love to try to hold off Gavin. Wallace is getting loose. I think he's actually... I think that his name's actually Landon or something? I remember in the comments I saw, like... Maybe that's like a relative's account and he's racing on it and his name's actually Landon. I don't know. I don't know the actual situation. Maybe I should just say Moody from that one. <laughs> that was a bad corner, by the way. Actually, it was kind of it was fast from last lap, but... It's kind of sketchy. Mm. This is some hard work. Love to be able to hold off Gavin, but he's doing much better than I am right now. Still lots of time as well. 
okay, Colton. The lap times are pretty consistent. I need to throw it into the corner a little bit more. Like, yank the wheel left a little bit. That actually felt pretty good. I might have discovered something here. Discovered how to get loose on exit. The lap time was at 35.4. That it wasn't it. I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do there. Shane's coming back up to pass us again. See him back there. Very recognizable paint scheme. My hands. This is feeling like a, a short track at this point. So many green laps. Intense racing. a bad corner. I felt like I did okay and it was not a good corner. Ow, my hands. You guys are off the track. Thankfully get around that lap car for the corner so I can take it how I want. That one's got to run on me though. Dancing on the wheel. The corner. <laughs> Kevin's point one behind me. That lap time was thirty five point five. That's good consistency. Keep it up. This is hard work trying to hold him off. Oh, we got hit a moment. I don't know if he hit the wall, got loose or what, but that gives me a little bit of breathing room. I think something might have happened ahead too. They're a little bit jumbled up there. I'm so out of breath. I have no idea what happened. I messed up the corner though, because I was all out of sorts. Thinking about things other than how to drive. side by side that might help me out here another pass attempt going on up there I don't know what I'm doing this corner. Really messed that up. Car outside. Go low. Shoot. Did not get that turn how I wanted. Go low. Clear. Car outside. Go low. Having massive run on the top. Clear 
Mm, gets around me. That stinks. Tires are really falling off this thing. Not as bad as his, though, no Link. He looks like he's struggling. Although, maybe he just wanted to take the high line there. We are being taken three away by Nick. He's not turning. Oh boy, this is getting crazy. Trying high line. No grip, no grip, no grip. That was a horrible idea. Keep high. Thank you, Daniel. Stay high. Stay high. He's in the wall. Oh, right in front of me. Clear inside. Outside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear inside. Two wide. Still there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. <laughs> this is crazy. Five left to go. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. It's Sorry, I pushed wide a little bit on entry there. It's not turning. I don't think anybody's turning around now, man. <laughs> what do you say? I missed what he said. Ow! My hands hurt so bad. I can't believe how tight the car got. I did not expect this. Whew, well, it's that three laps to go. I'll give you the bottom, bottom man. Pretty sure they're back. 
Two laps to go. I need this thing to be over <laughs> yesterday. I am struggling. Bottom What flag? Cut slap. Sure. White flag. One more to go. Let's have a decent lap. Is all I can ask for Seven here. Position. Check. Good, everybody. God, I am. Yeah, good one. Yeah, I feel like I went through. Great race, guys. Best one of the season, I think. That was awesome. Whew. I feel like I just got beat up. <laughs> Hell of a race. Really well. Yeah, I wanted to keep the lead, but like, uh, both tires, I was dirt tracking in one, too. It didn't help. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I had Uber driver to go get the lead. Go ahead, Jack. You were fast. Great, great, great. That definitely was the greatest race. Woo! Yeah, that was the greatest race. Yeah, that we're going to pull it over. My hands really hurt. Ow. So P7, all right. I want to see what uh, Shane said to me after I got tight on entry. I missed what he said. I'll look at it real quick too. Let me see tires, 59, 69. Oh, my hand hurts so bad. <laughs> Interesting. Very different tires. Lots of different guys. Where was it? Was it over here? Yeah, it was right here. Definitely didn't enjoy having to check what we were taking for you wide lap one. Oh, I guess I gotta look at that. I don't think anybody's turning right now, buddy. <laughs> no, yeah, nobody turning. Okay, yeah, I get it. Hmm. Where'd Justin finish? 15th, pretty good. Yeah, I gotta see apparently what uh what happened, I guess. Something 
I was just taking the high line lap one. I wasn't trying to do anything. Let's see. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. I went. Turns down. Let's see. Uh, I don't know how I mean I mean he he just was way too soft through the first corner. I don't know, man. When I gave him room, he just turns down into the other guy. If you don't, uh... I'm gonna get past 14 safely. I don't know, man. He delusional. <laughs> he delusional. All right, all right, peanut gallery. <laughs> all right, we got audience members chiming in here. <laughs> God, we lose having to live. I don't know. It's alternative is you hold your line. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I'll think about that a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm just going to have to think about that, I guess. Look at it some more. I don't really see what I did wrong, though. Am I supposed to just wait? I know the no one wants to just watch that over and over though. I'm gonna do that on my own time. We'll look at the incidents first. You're in control of your car though. I didn't make you loose. You got loose. <laughs> it sounds like blaming other people for your problems, but think about it. No, he didn't need to turn down. I gave him all kinds of room. What? Uh, any other opinions on that? I, I, I will genuinely. I'll listen to it. I'll reconsider my stance if that is not correct. Move out the wall a little bit. We aren't going to have too many incidents overall. So I'll let that guy know. I'm, I'm going to think about it. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll think about it. She looks down the like in the room is into three. Brace bond. How would I, how am I going to get them into three if I lift and lose my run? That doesn't make sense. 
I know. I, I can go get its monsters on. Yeah, I don't I want to make enemies here. I literally was just taking the first corner like I would, and he was taking the middle lane, so. I, I don't know. So he's wanting me to lift. I get to his outside here. I mean, I'm supposed to lift. Not everybody's gonna. I mean, I guess we had someone behind. Uh, anyway, back to incidents. I truly apologize. I don't want anybody to wreck, especially for something I'm involved in. Got lots of blinking. Ooh, that's a tough hit. Five. Really hard at the wall. That did not bring out a caution, though. So, I'll talk about that more later since we gotta go through incidents. But yeah, I, I felt like I left room. I I don't see why it's on me for him to get loose. I don't know. Uh, of course, more likely than not, Justin's gonna take my side though, even if um, <laughs> I am at fault. So I can't uh, put myself into an echo chamber. Not that I don't appreciate his feedback, of course. But I have to be willing to hear outside perspectives that don't match up as well, so I hope I get... I hope I get some opinions on that. I need to just do incidents right now. I'm doing a video. Uh, Daniel's been blinking. Something might have actually happened there, but. I think tires are just getting worn at this point in the race. Got green flag pit stops right now. Nothing happening. Ooh, that's a penalty. That stinks. I'm waiting to see what the caution was. I'm say the one and only.
do want to say something before everybody leaves, if possible. I just, I, I'm sorry, I want to type this out while I can. You can do in turn one, Nick says. how fast the car is going to go. It's true. We're gonna play around with him. Oh, dude. That's Justin. Okay. Fun's not getting me because you want to. Yeah, I didn't want to take it to be wide, that's for sure. I assumed, like, he was gonna make it through the corner. Yeah. Assumed he was... Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. I think I was just trying to save this ping on the down. Yeah. But did he have higher power? Hmm. Well, as always, after these races, this is kind of like a race review cool down period. Oh, yeah, Australia. Huh. That makes sense. Put some more wheel in it and it broke loose. Yeah, he, he was saying that he let off the gas. Hmm. Okay. We'll see if Gavin says anything about it in his video either uh, as well, because he's obviously gonna go through as well. Huh? Alright, All right, so he's going to upload. Alright, so, apologies again for the delay, that was important to me, trying to get some other viewpoints on that. Blinking. Is this blinking? What is this? That's blinking. I mean, it's good if all we're getting is blinking, really, because we haven't uh, had people running into each other, so... we're just going to get a blink every five laps or so, and no contact, then that's a pretty darn good race. That's a very tight race car. Penzoil on the wall. I think Ryan lagged out. Yeah, he was running good, too. That sucks. 
was in seventh at this point. Now we're on caution. What happened? When did the caution come out? It was on this lap. So we'll go look at. Oh, it was this. Okay. I do remember now seeing the 07. What happened? Just got loose on exit. Can't catch it. Whoa. Nice dodge by Moody. No, that's not Moody. He has the same car, I think, though. <laughs> like Terry over there. And, uh, fortunately, 07 can't uh, keep it straight. It's in the inside wall. So that's too bad. Honest mistake, though. And thankfully, even he didn't get too much damage, it looks like. Got some blinking here. Have to skip through those. So lucky I got lapped. My caution immediately came out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you gotta be lucky to be lucky, dog. What if I kept thinking about hitting out below my pit stop? Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, I think I remember him saying that. Yeah, it wouldn't have been lapped. It wouldn't have had to pass. Lap cars. Can't complain about the lucky dog. That's right. I do remember him saying while well, we were talking about our pit stops, he said he was too far right and slid past it, I think you said. You cover pretty well, though. We got 15th, right? Was Is what it was. Yeah. From 28th to 15th. That's a nice run. Blinking, blinking, blinking. Shame. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I was just going to say YouTube. Chain in the wall, blinking. It was 7. A little bit of the wall. Keep it straight that time. Ryan, after he blinked out, that stinks. Daniel down low. Doing the best he can. Blinking. Alex, oh, hate that his race got ruined. Man, that's a that's a blemish on it for me. I hate that. So uh, something I was involved in ruined his race, and he got into someone else too. Can't remember who it was. I'll take a look at that. See who else got affected by it as well. I'll have to think about a different way, maybe to, to handle it in the future. Ooh, this didn't bring out a caution, did it? One sixteen. Yeah, no, no caution from this. That's crazy. I'm very happy it didn't, but they will the open, I guess. So weird that that doesn't cause a caution. But the other crash here with a single car did? It's a bit strange. We keep going. That's good. Would have benefited me, probably. <laughs> but uh, I would prefer to go again, obviously. I have three here and 14th at the moment. Nothing going on there. I assume this is some wall. Maybe just old tires. We're moving right along. Should be the end of the race here pretty darn soon. This tire's getting old. Wall being hit. My long run pace was terrible. I guess I was just really bad on the tires. Hmm. Oh my. This is after the race. What happened up here? <laughs> oh, he's just messing around, I guess. 
decided to take out his car. Weird. But uh, that'll do it. All this is just messing around at this point. Or intentional wrecking? Oh no, he uh, he's messing around. I think he just did a quick downshift. So that's not intentional, he's just sliding through. And he happened to stop right there. So that was an accident, I think. And Jack with the win. He was the one to beat here today, that's for sure. With the pull time and uh, very dominant race. Didn't lead all the laps, but he led a lot of them. And uh, I will definitely take a seventh place. Keep, uh, keep up some consistency. I think that's right away about where I should have been with my uh, slower long run speed. It just it, The car got so tight for me later on, so I'll take it. Um, at the end of the final run, 59-61. I mean, it, it doesn't look that bad, but I think I'm, I'm just killing both tires. I tried to get on the right rear, but really, I just got on both of them. <laughs> I think is how it went, but... Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and update you on the points. I can do that on my phone in a split second here with the iRacing app. It has a very nice UI for the uh, league, and uh, I'll be able to tell you that after finishing P7 here today and in race number four, I find myself in, assuming these are updated, second place still behind Nick. So he actually will gain a little bit on here, but only a tiny bit. Finishing one spot ahead. And again, this is assuming that uh, these are updated. Let's see. It's looking like it's updated. So if I'm wrong, I'll say it in the description. But uh, all right, that'll do it. Next time out, we'll be going to Twin Ring Motegi. That should be a very fun race. I love that track. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Uh, if we were given I rating, <laughs> I'll get 19 from that, I guess. And uh, zero X, but maybe an incident I have to think about a little bit. So apologies to Alex for that one. Um, wish that hadn't happened, but I'll see you all next time. And I hope you have a good one.